to a brand new video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys get notified every time i upload a new video so today is sunday it is sunday morning and that for us sunday means church day so i'm about to get ready so we could go to church i really want to go to the 10 o'clock service so that means i have like less than 30 minutes to get ready but i think i can do it and the kids are in bed still just chill say good morning <laughs> okay careful i'll see you guys once we are all ready okay guys we're on our way to church now Ziggy, huh? you're going to the kids class yeah yeah what are you gonna do Yeah, guys so we're like church starts at 10 and it's 9 44 but we're a little late but that's okay <laughs> because um we go to this christian church called central so for 30 minutes the first 30 minutes is just worship like they just sing and you know they um like you most of the time they'll say thank you to whoever helps out around the church and things like that and they talk about what's going on and and then um, the other 30 minutes is when the pastor comes out. Bless you, baby. <laughs> <Okay, good. Sorry. laughs> the other 30 minutes is when the pastor comes out and he um, talks about the Bible and, like, says the word of the weekend. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, it's, I mean, we're a little late, but it's okay. Mason secret teacher. This is weird. Where is there these signs? <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we got a church to be. In. We got the church to be in. <laughs> but yeah, so we are Ziki. We always put him inside of the kids' class, um, which I love because we, like, he's not in school yet or anything, um, you know. And then with COVID, like, everything's kind of difficult to take him out. But he actually likes it. The first day, he was kind of awkward about it. He didn't know. What what to do like we checked on him and he was just standing there but now he's like okay with it so we always put him into the kids class and it's just kids his age and they put music and they dance around and you know they do i don't know what they do what else they do but yeah and then we go ahead and we'll go to the coffee shop which is leo's favorite part of coming to church <laughs> is going to the coffee shop and getting a bagel and some coffee and sitting and listening to the pastor so <laughs> that is our favorite thing but um yeah so we're gonna drop ziki off as soon as we get here and then we're gonna go to coffee shop and then we're gonna sit down and of course rosita comes with us because she's too small to go to class but i did her hair in a little chonguito today and she looks so cute i'll show you guys and i don't think you could see her and then to all the karens that said we can't eat while we see the pastor. Oh, well, we can eat to all the Karens because the pastor said we can. That's why there's a coffee shop. Can I get an amen? So our church is very, uh, it's different than most churches. Like, it's very, they make you feel very at home and comfortable. They literally tell you to come as you are. Like, they don't expect you to come looking a certain way or acting a certain way. They just want you to come. That's, that's pretty much it, which is why I, I love this church. Yeah, I will show you guys what it looks like when you get inside. And maybe if you live in the Vegas area or if you come from out of town, maybe you'll want to come too because they have services on Saturdays at 5 and then Sundays today at 10 and then at 12. And then Easter's coming up, so they're also going to have an extra service on Friday at 7, which I think we're going to come to that one. But yeah, so we're here yeah we're good so time for the coffee shop this is the church my car's hella dirty oh sorry guys you excited yeah we're gonna put you in class first <laughs> 
Icky's class is right there. I like your mask. <laughs> We're gonna get coffee right now. So first we have to get the stickers. And then Ziki gets one on his back and I get the other one. Hi! We left Ziki already. This is his little classroom. No, I don't think I can. I'm gonna get in trouble. He's so cute. He's like, bye! Come on. It's so empty. It feels empty. Coffee, coffee. There's the coffee shop. Ooh, they, do. they got some good coffee here too. It's better than Starbucks. Hi. <laughs> 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 I'm just waiting for my, my drink. This is Leo. He got a caramel macchiato. Let's fire, babe. Let's fire. Thank you, thank you. Where's your bagel? cross but the good news is the story doesn't end there three days later jesus rose again he is alive he is here today to give you hope he's here today to set you free from your addictions you can trust in him i want to take a moment we pray for our church family every week if you need prayer whatever you're going through would you just boldly slip your hand up in the air if we can pray with you or for you at the foot of the cross there is healing power at the foot of the cross, we're accepted with arms wide open. It doesn't matter what we've done. It doesn't matter where we've been. We're washed clean. Our sins are forgiven. At the foot of the cross, we find what we've been looking for. We find radical grace. We find that there's purpose. We're restored. We're uplifted. We find life. We get a front row seat to one of God's most glorious acts of love. At the foot of the cross, you and I, we're made brand new. That's good news, church. It's all because of the cross. So we stand at the foot of the cross to remember, to never forget, to always remember. And then another way the Bible tells us to remember is by taking communion together. I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me you can love like Jesus. What did you do to me? <laughs> We had a good time, huh? Hi. Okay, so let's see. Let me get, let me get there. Check your sticker. Turn it around. All right, so let's get this, and then I have the sticker. Thank you. All right. Thank All right. You yes. Thank have a good day. Okay. We'll see you next time. Have fun. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are finally home from church and from Ziki's kids class. It's 1.45 and I haven't ate breakfast. I got home freaking starving. So right away, like I made some pasta. I've been craving this mm. pasta. It's like the chicken chipotle pasta from Cheesecake Factory, but I make mine with shrimp. Um, and yeah, it's so freaking bomb, you guys. So that's what I'm eating right now. I was starving, so... Yeah, that's why I wasn't really vlogging the store because I just had to run to the grocery store and stuff. Mmm. It's so freaking good. So, it's rig I used rigatoni and then I have asparagus, bell pepper, onion. And it's so freaking good. And then there's shrimp in here. I cut it into little pieces. But the house is a freaking mess i have to clean but i can't like i'm starving so i'm like i have to eat because 
Well, I'm gonna eat and I'll see you guys later. Mom. Hi, little baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my. I love you. 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 I have a secret to tell you. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you remember when we went to, when we didn't know what we were having when, when I was pregnant with Rosita? And then we went to that ultrasound, remember? Mm -hmm. And then we were like, don't tell us, just put it in the envelope. You remember? You knew. <laughs> and it would just wait. <laughs> And then do you remember how when she we were in the ultrasound room <laughs> and then she was like um <laughs> hold on and then do you remember how she was like okay guys don't if you don't want to know don't look you remember mm -hmm. well I couldn't comprehend like I didn't really understand what she was saying because I had pregnant brain so I I I like looked because she didn't say okay now you can look in it like I was confused. And I looked and I just seen that it said no pee pee. And then I was like, <gasps> in my head, I was like, <laughs> I, was like <laughs> I was like, fuck, does that mean it's a girl? And clearly, because it said no pee pee, but I didn't say anything. And then I pretended like I didn't see it. Oh, God. Because I didn't want to ruin her gender. <laughs> Damn, that's some, kept, that's some shit kept for a long time, girl. <laughs> But I didn't want to ruin it. That's funny. Bro. So now you know. <laughs> I knew the whole time. Oh, <laughs> so when we were at the gender reveal, I was like, uh. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was still really excited. Because at the same time, I just want to make sure. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I only saw her for like a split second. But that's my secret that I've been keeping for like a year. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Rosita, hi. I was so excited because I really wanted her to be a girl. And then I seen it said no pee pee, and I was like, oh my god. I was so excited. But yeah. That's funny. <laughs> and then I remember, I don't know why it just popped into my head, but I remember you were even like, um, did you see it or something? Like you asked me, and I was like, no, I had a lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> but now you know. I I kind of knew. I pretty much knew, but I didn't want to say anything. Cause we had already bought the freaking color things, the smoke confetti stuff, and I was not. I had wasted like thirty, but I was not about to just ruin it and not pop those smokers. Cause just cause I I kind of knew. <laughs> So, yeah, it was funny. I just wanted to tell you that. My, I feel better now. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, guys, I feel really off today. Like, something's wrong with my arm. I don't know what it is. I feel like in Grey's Anatomy, there's this episode of Grey's Anatomy where it's like a Halloween one where this guy goes in and he's complaining about his foot. And he's like, he keeps like moving his foot. <laughs> he's like, something's wrong with my foot. And then the doctor's like, uh, what's wrong with your foot? And he's like, well, it's that's it. It's not mine. And she's like, what do you mean? And he's like, it's not my foot. And like, he keeps telling her it's not his foot. But it is his foot. But I don't know what was up with him. But he kept saying it wasn't his foot. That it felt weird. And he dead ass, like, so they kept telling him, like, they in the, they were like, this guy's tripping, like, whatever. So they kind of just sat him to the side. Tell me why, like, a, like a, a time passes and he was there for, like, a while. And they kept telling him to go home. And they gave him, like, crazy people meds. And they're like, you're tripping. Like, your foot is fine. It's your foot. And then they hear a fucking chainsaw and this guy straight up cut off his foot in the freaking emergency room, like in front of everybody. And they opened the curtain, there was like blood everywhere and he just like cut his foot off. He was like, it wasn't my foot and I told you it wasn't my foot. 
so that he literally amputated his own foot and then they had to go and take him into surgery and like re-amputate it like the right way because you know he just like went in those all it was crazy that's how i feel about my arm though <laughs> it's on my arm like it feels weird it was shaky earlier now like it's not but it feels weird <laughs> but yeah i don't i don't know i feel weird well church was really good we had a lot of fun i love going to church when covid first started i was so sad because obviously they had closed all the churches and going to church is like my safe place. It's like where I go, it's where I feel better. It makes me good for the whole rest of the week. Like I just, I let go and release all the negative emotions that I have throughout the week or just my life and things. And it's really just helpful for me. And today it was really good as well. Um, we had those little cups you guys saw um, were us was for us to take communion pretty much what communion is like if you don't go to church or anything it's um you're pretty much honoring the like the body of christ yeah so it was really nice that we were able to do that which we call communion and then um, and then what i love about that church is they, they always always say if you need prayer um go ahead and raise your hand and all around the room you will see people raising their hands and then he goes to say if you are see someone raising their hand don't be shy to just put your arm up you know like you don't have to touch them but like just reach out your arm to them and go ahead and pray for them so that's something i really love about that church is that it's a very like um they just make you feel very at home very connected with each other and i love that so church right next week is easter i can't freaking wait if you live in the Vegas area or if you're coming from out of town, um, the church is called Central Christian Church. It is in Henderson of, around the, like Costco and Galleria Mall and everything. Um, and next week, I believe they are having a few different services. There's one on Friday night at 7. And then there's one Saturday at 5. And then a Sunday, I believe, at 10, at 12. And then... I don't remember what time i'll put the times like right here um but yeah so i'm very excited and then i don't know what we're doing on easter i really wanted to have like an egg hunt for the kids especially because it's rosita's first easter obviously she's too little to know what easter is but still like z's first easter he had an egg hunt even though he was tiny um and i just i don't know it's like a tradition you know they deserve it yeah they do because rosita i didn't get to have baby shower it was virtual <laughs> but i was so sad about it because she's my first girl and i don't know and i just really like this year i'm like i don't even care she's gonna have a first birthday i don't care COVID or not she's going to have a first birthday but i really want to have an easter hunt for them and um like all our little family um um we don't have a house yet but i there is this park i really want to go to and it's like supposed it's supposedly i seen it's like really big so i think we're gonna go there and then i'll probably make like some type of marisco just because it's like easier to eat and it's like fresh but i'm so freaking excited you guys i got rosita the cutest easter outfit from shein and i'll show you guys on easter but i'm so excited she's gonna look so cute let me know what your guys's easter plans are and other than that i hope you guys have a blessed week it's almost easter this time is very special um i i wouldn't say i'm very well i don't know i don't know how i would describe myself i just have a lot of faith in god and i'm i feel like personally i'm very close to god and you know i don't believe in religion um like specifically because i you know christians there's certain things that christians don't believe in but i do there's certain things catholics don't believe in but i do and so i go to a christian church because i love it there i love the wor the words they say i love worship i love everything but, um, you know, I have my own, like, thing going on. Like, for example, I'm very into spiritual things. Um, 
like i have my stones and everything because i believe that they bring in good energy and i know christians don't believe in that um i believe in angels i know you know christians don't really believe in angels i do um but at the end of the day i know that there is that god is there that he's a higher power and i know that he loves me and i love him and he's there for me when I need him when you know I I just feel better when I talk to God and that's you know that's just how I am I just this week I feel like it is his week to honor him it's we're supposed to honor Jesus every day of our lives you know um so I don't want anyone to take it wrong but this week is a very special week because it is the week you know Jesus died on the cross and he um rose again so this week easter's coming up it's very special to me and i feel like you know a lot of people will focus on just the eggs and the bunny and yes it's fun for the kids but we have to remember the main reason excuse me why we celebrate easter in the first place so just um you know if you're not religious just remember to say to thank your blessings to you know to be thankful, to be thankful to your family, to love your family, because sometimes there's people that just don't, they can't do that right now. So just a reminder. I'm gonna end the vlog now because I feel like I'm talking a little too much. And yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little Sunday routine, kind of, um, our little church routine. But I hope you guys have a blessed week and a good Easter, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.